back and hang out with me on this Tuesday. It's not Tuesday right now, but it will be when this video is up. So we have lived in our house for a little over a year now and I am shocked at the amount my kitchen has gotten disorganized. All the covers were organized, etc. when we moved in and it is not that way anymore. It has gotten very out of control and it has been bugging me so much. So I'm really excited to jump in and get this project started. Um, I'm going to be working on this over the course of a couple days, so if you see an outfit change here and there, that's what is going on. <laughs> um, anyways, I spent my morning cleaning my house. Um, I was saving my kitchen for last because I knew we were going to do this. Um, but my husband has been after me to make a peanut butter pie, and I actually have a pie crust in the freezer. It's over here <laughs> now. Um, but I'm going to throw that pie together real quick, and then we are going to get started cleaning and organizing my kitchen. So yeah, let's get started. So I'm going to wash my few little dishes here and then we'll put the pie together and then get started. Okay, I hope you can hear me over the dishwasher, but I think the first thing I want to do is clean out my utensils drawer. Um, it's gotten very disorganized because when we first got married, I had gotten stuff from my like bridal shower, I'd gotten stuff for wedding gifts and I just kind of threw everything in. Um, but I've realized that there's some stuff in that drawer that I really don't use and it's getting really cluttered so I'm gonna clean it out and get rid of anything that I don't use so let's dive in this might get a little scary <laughs> sure if you've heard of the term a capsule closet but basically um, it's where you just switch out the clothes that you wear for each season and the ones you don't wear you just um, you move out of your way for that short period of time anyways as I was cleaning my kitchen and organizing I kept thinking about what would a capsule kitchen look like and so I started moving everything that I don't use out of my drawers and um, I'm just moving some of the stuff downstairs to my kitchenette in the basement so I can still get to it if I need it. But um, then it's not so cluttered in my drawers and I don't have to dig through a bunch of stuff to find what I'm looking for. Okay, right, something that has gotten really out of control um, is my pan drawer. And I have a Lazy Susan in the corner that I keep pans in because mom always did. I don't know why I keep them there. It's just where I put them when we moved in. And over the course of the year, some of the pans that I use the most have gotten moved to here. And so I think I'm going to just make the switch and take all of my favorite pans, the things I use the most, and move them over here. This might not be the most like space-saving way to have done this, but these five pans and then these frying pans are my most used pans. And to me, having them all... Um, like have space so I don't have to stack them. I can put their lids with them and not have to scratch around looking for the pan lids. Um, it, this right here feels like a system that I'm going to love. We'll give it a shot. Uh, and the nice thing is I still have all of my other pans right over here, but these pans I use consistently. And to have them where I can just quickly grab them, that's amazing to me. mugs we use when we have company 
Um, these are everyday glasses and then, um, then I keep the insulated cups and my water cup in this cupboard. This is my main coffee mug, but then I also have these four up here that I actually use almost as much as the other mug because <laughs> I love them. Um, but yeah, they're right here by the coffee for easy access. I don't know what else to say other than this excites me. <laughs> Look how minimalist that is. I love that. Okay, so then in this cupboard, I moved both of my baking slash roaster dishes to the bottom. For some reason, I was thinking they should be kept up higher, but obviously I reached for those and my pie dishes more than any of the other things that I keep in here. So everything else got moved up to the top two shelves uh, most of my cake pans, etc. And the things I use most are right here. I didn't have time to put in all the footage of me organizing all of the cupboards, but um, I did move a bunch of mugs that I don't use um, to the basement and some of my seasonal stuff like my cookie press, I only use that around Christmas time. So why does that need to be taking up space in my kitchen when it can be downstairs? Um, I actually moved a bunch of items like that um, to my kitchenette in the basement and it freed up so much space in my cupboards. Um, yeah, and then all of this right here, um, these are kind of my pantry drawers. Um, and they would gotten really cluttered and there was a bunch of stuff in there I really don't use anymore. Um, yeah, so it felt really good to get everything out and cleaned and organized. Um, and yeah, I am loving it since it is all organized. While I work, I always like to listen to music, and I had some really good Paul Overstreet going, but I don't want to slap on the wrist from YouTube for using copyrighted music, so I had to silence that and um, put my own music in here. So I'm sorry about that, we can't jam out together, but <laughs> I guess this will have to do. If anyone is curious, I bought my dress from Marshalls and um, I actually had to shorten it, the hem. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a short person and yeah, uh, dresses typically don't, um, yeah, the length is normally off. So I did have to shorten a little bit so it doesn't come in this exact length, but um, yeah, check Marshalls if you want one. I dedicated an entire shelf to my husband's um, grilling spices and rubs and stuff and he was very excited about that, that he gets his own shelf in the pantry. <laughs> wondering how our pie turned out that we were working on earlier. Here it is. Daryl's gonna be so excited. He's been asking me the last couple days when I'm gonna make this pie. So I'm excited for him to taste it. <laughs> Anyways guys, I'm honestly so excited with how like organizing my kitchen went. As I already said, it has been bothering me for a long time. <laughs> it feels so good to have it organized and everything in its place. And the more I think about this capsule kitchen idea, I really like it. I don't know if that's a thing, it probably isn't, but regardless, I like how functional um, and organized my kitchen feels. Now to see how long it actually stays this way. <laughs> For now, I am loving the organized feel. And actually, um, I the other day I wiped out all of my cabinets, scrubbed my countertops and all of my appliances. And I filmed it all, but I'm afraid this video is gonna get long, so I might not put those clips in. I'm sorry, it is kind of just the boring part of everything. It's just me cleaning, and so it's not that exciting. I'd rather show you the organization side of everything, so we'll see how long this ends up being. And anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this inspired you to go organize your kitchen. But either way, 
Um, I hope you found this video interesting and entertaining. And if you did, don't forget to like this video. And don't forget to subscribe, you guys. Hey, I will see you back here next week on Tuesday for another video. Have a good week. Bye.